Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another weekly Oracle and Angel card reading, and this will be for July 6th through the 12th, and we're going to be using the new released messages uh, from the Mermaids, which was released in June, and this is a deck by Karen Kay, okay, and these are absolutely beautiful cards. And let's get started with the reading. You can use this as a pick a card reading, one, two, or three, or you may use this as a blended reading with all three cards. And as I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. And for the first card, I'll take a card from the top, light. And the second card will be from the center contemplation and the third and last card is going to be from the bottom abundance and this is a beautiful diverse deck it has every body type every color race creed whatever you could imagine so she really did a beautiful job on this deck to include everyone so the first card is light and you can see the lighthouse in the background Okay, and as I said that, it seems like the sun in the background came out <laughs> for light. And none of these are, you know, numbered. So I'm just going to read from the book exactly what her take is on this because I want to share this message with you. It says, this mermaid reminds you to shine your light wherever you go and not to be shy. She reminds you to be aware that light is attractive to others and acts rather like a magnet drawing others to it like moths to a flame. Sometimes we feel as if our light is missing, but in truth, it's always there. Even when you stand in the shadows, the light is there to guide you. Perhaps your inner shadows are being revealed so they can be exposed to the divine light of your soul. It could be the right time to explore shadow work, a shamanic practice. So yeah, we're all here to share what we have. We all have a light with inside of us. We may need to go through some shadow work. We may need to look at the dark aspects of our personality and ourselves, okay, in order to heal maybe old past wounds. So this is important. It's a beautiful way to start the week that we need to look at ourselves because we are a mixture of dark and light. And truly, you need both um, without contrast. Uh, we wouldn't know what good felt like if we didn't have bad. We wouldn't know what happy felt like if we didn't have sad. So this is telling you to shine your light. And then the next one is contemplation. Okay, so what I'm getting from spirit is, you know, maybe someone needs to take a time out to think about something. Maybe you're about to make a major decision that may affect you and other people. Or this might be someone out there who is maybe uh, changing jobs or careers, okay? This could be someone contemplating about leaving, you know, a relationship or a partnership or a marriage. Uh, whatever it is, it's telling me that you don't want to make a snap decision without thinking about the pros and cons. This is telling you to take time to contemplate, okay? Um, in order for us to make an informed decision, we really need to do our homework. We really need to check things out before we just make a decision that we may regret later. And let me see what the book says uh, about contemplation. That's what I'm getting from Spirit. And it's saying, enjoying her time in contemplation, the mermaid uses her creativity to look at various outcomes and scenarios. The beauty of this is that it can be fun and a creative process, allowing you to imagine you've experienced the things you're contemplating without doing anything in physical reality. It's a bit like trying before you buy or commit. The situation calls for you to think deeply using your wisdom and imagination to arrive at a wholesome solution. Your feelings may be a bit confused right now and you're prone to follow your heart, which is usually a good thing. This situation calls for you to use your mind in the conjunction with your heart and to think things through rationally. Yes, exactly. You know, we need to uh, do a balanced contemplation, you know, uh, feeling with our heart 
Okay, but yet thinking with our mind, you know, balancing the emotional thought with the logical thought. So it's telling you not to make a decision without thinking about the pros and cons of whatever it is. And then the last card is abundance. And we have this beautiful mermaid and she's sitting next to this treasure chest. How gorgeous. So this is telling me that at the end of the week, there's some type of abundance coming in. Maybe whatever the decision was that you had to make is going to lead to this abundance. And when I think of abundance, even though she's sitting next to a treasure chest full of gold coins and jewels, abundance could be different for a lot of people. Abundance to me is just being happy every day when I get up, feeling like I have food on my table. I have a roof over my head. I'm breathing. I could make my breakfast. I could get myself dressed. To me, that's an abundant life. You don't need material things to be happy. Abundance could mean material things. So maybe if this contemplation that's going on is you changing a job, maybe it means you're going to be bringing more money in and you're going to be able to treat yourself to those material things in life. And let me see what the book says on this as well. This is actually the first time I'm using this deck in its entirety. I did pull a few cards before uh, uh, when I got it about a month ago, but this is saying, this mermaid is sharing her abundance with you. The treasure you see is symbolic of the treasures awaiting you in many forms. These could be material or spiritual. Exactly. Exactly. It could be a sense of inner peace and well-being, which to me is the most abundant thing of all because money can't buy that. Or it could be material things coming your way. The key to receiving abundance is to be grateful for what you already have. And that's right. When we're grateful... Okay, and we show gratitude for what we have, more things in our life are going to show up for us to be grateful about. It says, it's fine for you to ask for what you need, but always set your intention as this or something better. That way you're leaving room for the universe to manifest without limitation. So, hey, abundance, whatever form, is a positive thing. What a beautiful reading this week. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.